Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. Uh, we continue talking football. Well, following her 2023 World Cup campaign with the Reggae Girls, forward Tiffany Cameron went on to have a fairly successful campaign for her new club, Real Betis Feminas. The 32-year-old topped the goal-scoring charts for Real Betis in the Liga Femme with six strikes. Real Betis finished 11th out of 16 in a roller coaster season that saw them remaining in the league. But Cameron was also recently inducted into the Ohio State University 2024 Hall of Fame. She is the most prolific scorer for Ohio State University, ending her tertiary career with 40 goals and 96 points, the most for any player in the program's history. Well, despite such positive news surrounding the national footballer, she was unable to share the good news on her social media platform due to the fact that her Instagram page was hacked about a month ago. Tiffany is very disturbed by this incident and hopes that she can use her situation to educate others in the hopes that she can prevent the same thing from happening to them. Tiffany joins us on the Sportsmax Zone this afternoon. Tiffany, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, I'm in off season right now. Really happy to be home with my friends and my family. Um, you know, it's been a long, long season and a long year, but a very successful one. So I'm really thankful to be here on your show and thanks for having me. Yeah, always happy to talk to you. You're always full of energy and you really, really bring the vibe. But today, you know, Tiffany, we're here to talk a bit about the fact that your social media has been compromised. And I know you're very passionate about helping others when it comes to this situation. So tell us a bit about the incident, what happened and, you know, where are you now with, you know, trying to retrieve your identity? So um, the night before I left Spain to come back home, um, all I got was I got a bunch of emails saying, oh, you've been signed out of uh, Instagram, you've been signed out of Facebook, you've been signed out of X. And I was freaking out because I'm like, well, actually, I don't understand how this happened. And then my emails, um, they, they, they signed me out of my emails as well, too. And this was happening like gradually. So even the day of me traveling, like the following day, they were changing a whole bunch of things, unfortunately. And the sad part about all of this, all of this is that when I went to retrieve my page on Instagram to use the video authentication, it sent Instagram sent a code to the hacker. So what doesn't make sense is I'm sure a lot of people have been hacked before, but everyone should be able to use the video authentication fe feature and not have to get a code sent to themselves. You understand what I mean? Like, you, I should be able to have, say, my face here showing it's me. And then if I have an extra form of ID, put it up there because I've done it with other apps. There showing that it's me, bam, get back into my account. This is, I think, what's, what's an issue with the two-step authentication because now, because they had access to all of my emails and everything like that, they were able to change the email under my social media account. So I'm just locked out of my account until someone from Meta can help support me, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it's tough because I've been speaking with, like, I'm asking for help, and they're not understanding, like, the, the issue and, and how it's affecting my brand, you know, my image, and also other people. I've had so many people reach out to me and say, Tiff, like, I saw this weird post about Odax trading on your page. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it's not you. Other people thought it was me that I suddenly gained this interest in ODAX trading, which is, is not a thing. And the person DMing people, asking for personal information like their WhatsApp, emails, money. And I just need everyone to know it's not me. And I need people to report the page so it gets shut down or somehow I get a regain access to it. Yeah, what's the um, handle on that page that needs to be shut down? Tiffany underscore Cameron 11. So unfortunately, I have over 5,000 followers on there, um, you know, and I have all my photos and videos and everything like that. Um, so, you know, a person would think, oh, it's just Tiff, you know, if they look at it. And then, you know, I, I've created a new Instagram account because I want to get it out there, what has happened. 
Of course, I don't have nearly as much followers, but I mean, I just created it like two weeks ago. So I have to build up and build my credibility on there. And I was happy that I at least was able to acknowledge the Ohio State Hall of Fame induction. That was super, super important to me. And, you know, the women's soccer page on um, the Ohio State women's soccer page, they actually put a really nice post up of me June 20th, you know, acknowledging it. And the hacker had the audacity to actually write underneath in the comment section, thanks, I appreciate all you do. This, like, burned me because I was like, how dare they go mm -hmm. to those lengths to impersonate me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty sad story there, Tiffany. But um, yeah. on the back of all of this, or should I say on the top of all of this, is the, is the, is the, is the good side. And, and your Hall of Fame induction must have been a very, very satisfying and overwhelming even feeling for you, given the fact that your collegiate career would have been so outstanding. Absolutely. I, you know, it's interesting because I got this news a while back, but I was told not to say anything to anyone until they officially announced it um, in June. So unfortunately, obviously, when they announced it, I didn't have access to my page. But, you know, I was still able to share it on Facebook with my friends and family. They're really happy. But it was a really nice relief for me to open up my new Instagram page and acknowledge um, how Ohio State has helped me develop and how they've always supported me throughout my journey and in my career. And, you know, Coach Lori Walker, she was amazing. She got the best out of me as a person and also as a player. And there are things that I've learned uh, playing at Ohio State that I've taken with me throughout my entire career. So mm -hmm. I'm truly grateful. And, you know, I would love to say as well, too, I mean, I'm starting a new beginning on Instagram now, for now. So everyone can follow me on, uh, on Instagram, Tiffany D. Cameron underscore. So that's my new handle. Yeah. Um, of course, when they look me up, uh, I'll have my full name, Tiffany Devonna Cameron, up on there so they can just start following the, that new page. And, you know, I have to create more memories until I can get this other situation situated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, the U.S. has been the envy of the, the world as far as women's football is concerned um, because of the success the team has had. Uh, recently, they were... Um, unseated as world number one, I see. And you are now playing in Spain, who are the current women's world champions. So you are somewhere where, where, where you should be because you're among the number one playing nation as far as women's football is concerned. And your real Betis experience has been uh, tremendous up to this point. Talk to us quickly about the Spanish league and how well you're acclimatizing to the to the, to the game there, because I suspect it may be a little different from the U.S. US style. Very different. You know, I'm so grateful um, that I've fought so hard up until this point. You know, it was always on my bucket list to play in Spain because I, I love um, their technical ability, the players in Spain, and they're, they're tactically there, you know. And I've played in many leagues in the world. You know, I've played in Germany. I've played in... Sweden, I played in Norway, played in the U.S., and it, it's just different. And in my opinion, it's the the top league in the world. I mean, one can argue. I mean, England, uh, their their league is outstanding as well too. Um, but but it's an honor to be playing against some of the best teams in the world, like especially Barcelona, Real Madrid. You know, my first goal ever for for Real Betis was against Real Madrid, and that was amazing because I kind of set the tone. I said, look. Yeah, you, you have a Jamaican on your, on your squad. This is what I'm <laughs> going to come to do. <laughs> so, you know, I, I've, I've been enjoying my time. You know, I'm learning Spanish as well, too. And, you know, I think my second season is going to be even better. I mean, six goals is okay to start with. But there was a lot of adjustments um, that I had to make. You know, I would say um, for next season, my goal would be to, to reach 10 goals. And if I can score more than that, then I'll be very happy. <laughs> yeah, and we'll be very, very happy for you, too, Tiff. Um, I want to wish you, you all the best with that social media um, impersonation incident. Really hope that it's sorted out. And all the best in the Thank upcoming you. season. We'll talk again really soon. Perfect. Thank you so much for everything. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep in touch. And definitely if I can have Jamaica behind me here, if they can report and block my other page. Hey, if, if we can get as many people doing it as possible, it will get shut down. And it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, Tiff, take care. Talk again soon. Perfect. Thanks for having me. God no, bless. Not a problem. Tiffany Cameron there, reggae girl.
course, you know, dealing with that social media incident. Going to take a quick break. When we come back, we have our interactive segment. And remember, the Sports Max Zone class moment. Can't wait to see what's in store for us to pick. Break time.